Susan was in the house. <laughs> Susan, it's great to have you here. And for that matter, it's great to have all of you in the house. Um, very, very pleased, as always, to welcome you to this wonderful seminar. Uh, this is the 11.0, so you've been at it for a while, looking at the future of libraries. And so I look forward to it, because it really does give us an opportunity to have discussions about something that's very near and dear to me, uh, which is, how do we look towards the future? How do we evolve? And, and, and look at the important work that we do, but more importantly, adapt to change. So I am gonna spend a little bit of time uh, hopefully talking about a few themes that I think to me are important, particularly as it applies to your theme, which is about community engagement. I do wanna do a quick shout out. First of all, Bill, my mentee from the Eureka Leadership Institute. Thanks for the great work that you and your committee are doing. Uh, Michelle Hampshire, which is uh, our wonderful manager here at the Main Library, thank you for your engagement uh, for this very important seminar. So, um, you know, today's session does talk about the future of libraries through community engagement. And just recently, I shared an article with the Friends of the Library Board. They had a board retreat, and I wanted to give them something to sort of uh, think about why libraries are so important, but at the same time, how they're transforming and evolving, and, and why it's important to think about libraries in the context of the greater uh, society. And this article, you might be interested in, in uh, reading it. Uh, it's a very easy read. It's the Da Vinci Institute. Uh, Thomas Frey, who's a futurist, puts out these very interesting trend-spotting uh, articles, and he talks about 10 different trends that will impact the future of libraries. Some you may agree or disagree with. Uh, some are pretty provocative in that they really push the envelope. But I find them very uh, important in terms of the work that you're doing uh, here in the Bay Area because I think we have an opportunity as Bay Area leaders to sort of set the trend of what's happening in other parts of the country through, through libraries. But it talks about how we need to, it's called, by the way, the future of libraries beginning the great transformation. So that's what today's also about. Uh, it gives insights into the rapidly changing technologies. We know how important that is. Uh, but it also talks about the equally uh, fast changing demands of our public, because they're also adapting to significant stimulus from the environment. So out of the 10 trends, I'm going to highlight just four very quickly and not go into a lot of depth, but I think you should just think about these in terms of how it applies to today's conversation. The first one, it talks about how search technology will be more and more complicated, okay? It talks about how we're moving from text-based information search engines, and we know that right now we're adapting to image, uh, video, audio, we know all that's happening. But we're pushing the envelope to the next generation of technologies and, and uh, searching that will even look at uh, smell or taste, and all these remarkable ways of, uh, again, looking at what's going to happen in terms of how we, as librarians, manage information that's going to be in different formats and different um, uh, tools. So it really does have implications for the wonderful role that librarians play in managing information. Uh, our society doesn't have the time or inclination nowadays to sift through all this bombardment of information. So I think that you will play a role in this transition uh, on search technology. The next one is about how global information is also growing. Uh, we need to understand cultures. Uh, the Bay Area is rich with diversity, but more and more, that's a global phenomenon. Uh, the article talks about how 15% of populations in the top 50 cities are migrant, immigrant communities. So talk about the implications. We see it play out in the media. Uh, with what's happening in the movement from the folks in Syria to other parts. Uh, those have implications for libraries and how we literally look at the societal changes that are really impacting our cultures. The one that I found also very interesting was how we're moving from a product-based economy to a user experience economy. So that one has tremendous implications for us. How many of us are now looking at how the public is measuring or valuing, rather, our library experience. I think what you see today in the various sessions, they do that. They're looking at our users as the center of what we should, you should be doing. One of the things I'm proud of as far as libraries and library professionals are that we are, in fact, getting away from an isolated 
mindset to a much more user-focused, community-focused um, uh, environment that we really will only be relevant if we continue to tap into what's happening in our communities. And the last one, again, very relevant, we're moving from, and you may agree or disagree, from a center of information to a center for culture. And this has tremendous implications because we're hearing about partnering with museums. Uh, we're not necessarily taking over their roles, but we certainly have a role to play in defining partnerships with a whole breadth and range of community agencies. So again, today's uh, session is tremendously valuable. Uh, I commend those presenters because I know that uh, we are gonna have a lot of takeaways from the experience. And again, I offer you a warm welcome uh, to the San Francisco Public Library and wish you all a great day. Thank you.